It's week three, and that not only means that we're halfway through build season, but that means we're all the way through finals. Whew. But don't get too comfortable. It's still build season, and anything can go down. Like GitHub breaking down for 90 minutes, or the game design committee responding dryly to your legit question. Hey GDC, would flashlight be considered a powered or non-powered signaling device under 5.5.9? It would be considered unpowered unless you switched it on. Then it would be powered. It would be fine to use, switched off, as a pointing device, in just the same way you would use a baguette or a leg of mutton. Oh, sorry. Mm. Mm. Well, as you can see, we can't afford a real leg of mutton, but who needs that when you have awesome sideburns? Though I'm sure you guys love to watch me keep munching on this baguette, we're fortunate to have to cut to our next segment with Morgan Freeman narrating. This is four things you didn't know about Dean Kamen, brought to you by me, Morgan Freeman. First off, Dean Kamen is on Netflix. You should go watch his documentary. It's called Slingshot. Oh, and he also has various TED Talks and an interview by Big Think. It's worth checking out. Secondly, being the eccentric guy he is, Dean lives in a mansion he calls Westwind and regularly commutes to work on one of his three helicopters, which he stores in a hangar built into his house. Thirdly, things weren't always this way for Dean. He didn't do well in school, though he did love inventing. He was hired by local bands to install light and sound systems as a teenager. He was even asked to work on the giant ball that is lowered in Times Square each New Year's Eve. By the time he graduated high school, he was making $60,000 a year. That's over 9000 Anywho, Dean loved inventing, so much that he would later drop out of college to work on his inventions. Lastly, Dean Kamen is also a lord. Lord Dumpling, if you will. He owns a small island off the coast of Long Island, New York. When he couldn't build a 100-foot wind turbine due to zoning laws, he got President George H.W. Bush to sign a non-aggression pact for Dean to unofficially secede from the United States. And the nation of North Dumplin was born. It has its own navy, of one boat, a mini stone hinge, a constitution, its own flag and national anthem, and its own newspaper, the North Dumplin Times. Visitors to the island are called Dumplomats. Oh, sorry. I, I know we're starting so soon. I, I heard dumplings and I thought that they'd be, uh, uh, can, can you just give me like five minutes to, to get cleaned up? Um, Dean Kamen is a great inspiration for our generation. We just can't thank him enough for all he's done for us and other young, inspiring entrepreneurs, inventors, and high school students. He really shows us firsthand that if first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's kind of like this clip from a few years back in Autonomous. Fifty percent of the time, it works every time. Now that's all the time we have for this week. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all next week.